Arizona Attorney General Mark Brnovich just issued a legal opinion that the state is under invasion from illegal immigrants and that the governor can use armed troops to stop them without waiting for an OK from the federal government. Political editor Dennis Welch shows us why the governor is not likely to act on that. And this goes back to last month when a pair of former Trump officials had urged the governor to assert war powers to repel the record number of migrants that are crossing the southern border at this time. Those same Trump officials also urged Brnovich to issue an opinion on whether or not this constitutes an actual invasion. In theory, the Trump officials and two dozen Republican state lawmakers who support this effort believe that this would allow Ducey to send the National Guard to the border and turn them away or send the migrants back. The approach was met with skepticism last month when it was first brought up, and that skepticism continued today with an attorney we spoke with. As a matter of law and history, it's nonsense. Um, you know, what the Constitution talks about is, is actual invasions, not, you know, families coming across the border or even, you know, drug cartels or anything like that. We're talking about actual armies. An actual invasion or threatened actual invasion is what's going on right now with Russian troops on the border of the Ukraine. And it is worth noting that Brnovich is one of five candidates seeking the Republican nomination for the U.S. Senate. This is a race where border issues and immigration is one of the top issues. In the newsroom, Dennis Welch, Arizona's family. Dennis, thank you. Governor Ducey's office did send us a statement saying in part they deployed the National Guard to the border last April as we faced a rapid increase in apprehensions and extended the border security mission for another year in August to give our law enforcement the support they need to fight this criminal activity.